Well, that didn't take long. That didn't take long at all. Right after we heard Marvel wants Blade to go back to killing vampires, wants to re-establish the script to, to make it more about that, yeah. What did I say? I was doubtful about it. I didn't believe it was going to happen. And of course, more controversy about Blade not even a good while after. I tell you, but yeah. Get into this one, people, because I've got like two things to cover here. This article from Cosmic Book News. Marvel's Blade doomed. Mahershala Ali exiting role. It's now said things are back to square one and that too many of the key players are not happy. Look, I I'm going to be completely honest with you here. I think he should have walked away from this a long time ago. I never had any kind of hope whatsoever in the MCU being able to make a Blade film. None. Maybe at the beginning, when the MCU was still good, if they decided to do that. Maybe, but even then, I I've always thought that, you know, Blade and vampires and all of this always seemed out of place in the world of the MCU. Right now, they have the old blood hunt thing going on. And some people are saying, you know, it's actually really good and all of that. I have no interest in reading all them books. Because, you know, I pretty much, I, I'm done with Marvel and DC at this point. I'm no reason in that. And I've always just felt Blade seemed out of place in that. I would figure, you know, that should be something separate. Blade should be something separate. Like, because when you look at the, when you look at the Wesley Snipes movies, it's Wesley Snipes Blade movies, one and two, we don't talk about three, but one and two, some of the best action movies it had out and that, that movie doesn't get enough credit for bringing superhero movies to the big screen. Spawn did well okay but you know not not not, not they didn't have the kind of impact that um that um Blade had but that's what I'm saying but it never felt like you know this was part of any kind of superhero thing. It always felt separate from it and I think that's what that's what made it work. But I have, I have absolutely no hope whatsoever in the MCU being able to make a successful Blade movie, none. I think Mahershala Ali is to pack up, walk away, and not associate his name with anything in the world. Because if he goes through with it, it's going to be a disaster and it's going to be a black mark on his career. I don't think he wants that. Honestly, I think the best thing he could do is to walk away from it. Think to it. Following up on last week's report that Blade is undergoing another rewrite with at least its seventh writer. Seventh writer and another another rewrite. This, this, this movie has been in production hell for five years. Five years. And this is the seventh writer they've gone through. Hmm. Now it's question if the Marvel movie has that has been in development for five years is doomed. With it also question if Mahershala Ali is leaving the role. Let me simply tell you something. Eh? The reason why I have I said this before, I'll say it and you'll say it as many times as, as possible and I need to. The reason why they keep going through all these rewrites and this writer and that writer has nothing to do with the writers, you know. It has to do with the people in charge because it's not difficult to make a Blade movie. You have vampires, you have Blade killing vampires, you have badass action scenes, that's it. That, that, that's really all you need. You're sprinkling a villain here, you're sprinkling some drama there, and you're good to go. It's really all you need. But no, the fact of the matter is that the people in charge want this to be a MCU Blade movie. And every time these writers put together a script and present it to them, they're like, okay, we like this script, but could you add this, remove that, put in this, change that, fix this, add this, rework that, put that here, take this out, add this in there, turn it back so, run back here, throw it, throw it in a blender, mix it up, put it back out, make this crap, make this crap relevant, and put that there. And this is what keeps destroying it. Nobody wants to see Blade's daughter, and that is a fact. Nobody cares about Blood Rain or whatever the hell her name is. 
They had that in Marvel Comics. No, no, nobody read those books. Literally nobody read those books because nobody cares. Nobody cares. But no, you insist on wanting to push her into the movie, make her the bestest ever, and turn Blade into some washed up has been who just waiting for somebody to drive a stake into his heart and put him out of his misery. When it comes to this movie, it's always one step forward, three stakes to the heart back. That's it. It never ends. Because they keep wanting to do this rubbish. And this is what is destroying this movie. Continue on. A recent rumor from Daniel R. P. K. Now, he gets some things right. He gets some things wrong. But in regards to this, I think he's actually right here. Uh, writer Michael Green has exited Blade and that significant revisions are happening again. Said to include the addition of a new male villain with production possibly pushed back from the summer to the fall. Oh god. This is on top of all the previous problems which included reported the script featured Blade as a second rate character in his own movie that focuses on female characters. But yeah, the MCU is not real. The MCU is not real at all. It's not real at all. Too many of the key players are not happy. YouTuber John Campier weighs in and says he heard something similar from a source recently as well and that he heard it before Daniel RPK. Now, a while back, when this was supposed to off, I had gotten some information in regards to what the original Blade movie was supposed to be. And, like, and, and, and it basically said that it was only going to have like about two lackluster action scenes. And the whole movie was just going to be focusing on Blade and his daughter and him, tra and, and him training her to be better than him. And I was like, oh God, this is garbage. So, so sometimes people do get information that they really have to take a look at it. This is what um, John Campy had to say. About a, week, um, about a week or so ago, I had someone say to me, somebody relatively connected to the situation, that they had heard that they were right back to square one, that too many of the key players are not happy with the current iteration of the script. Of course not, because like I keep saying, they want to make this script an MCU-focused film. And it's not going to work in any way, shape, or form. This is their problem. Campion notes his source didn't say who the key players are. Whether it's two-time Oscar winner Mahershala Ali, I, I think it's him. Or director Yan Demange, might very well be. Who is the second director on the flick having replaced Basim Tariq or even Kevin Feige. Yeah, I think Kevin Feige is perfectly happy to push the machine. Perfectly happy. Um, Campia also said it's getting to the point where it's laughable because it's so bad and again Blade has been in development for 5 years and when Hashala Ali was 45 years old when the project was first announced but now he is 50 years old. Yeah, I mean the man has options other than Blade. He has options other than Blade and, and I personally think he needs, needs to walk away from this. There's no reason to remain in this at all. Campia continues and says that maybe the most recent delay is a good thing. As Daniel RPK has ha, at least said, Marvel finally has the story locked down, which suggests new script revisions may be for dialogue and scenes as such. If that is true, maybe they are not in as bad shape as it seems. I, I doubt that. I highly doubt that. Um, however, John Campia also adds that he believes Blade will continue without Marshala Ali. I, I, think, I, I think they will. I think they're perfectly happy if he walks away to bring this onto the big screen and poison it and, and then tell people, well, if you don't love it, oh, you're just racist. Because all those people who loved Wesley Snipes as Blade, yeah, all those racists no longer exist. You understand I me? Mean, they, all, they, they all jumped on spaceships and left planet Earth. And it's only a bunch of a bunch of racists remaining now. Anything that you put out, they're going to hate. He continues on, but I am now at a point, something I have denied before. I didn't believe it before, but I am now at a point that I am going to say this. I do not believe Marshall Ali is going to be blamed. 
possible, very possible. And this other article makes it even more possible. Blade dead, Mahershala Ali now in talks for Jurassic World reboot. The Hollywood trades make no mention of Blade in their reporting. Yeah, well, yeah, well they must do that. They want to try and save face. Following up on, on, on recent report that it's thought Mahershala Ali will be exiting Blade, now the trades report the two-time Oscar winning actor is in talks for the Jurassic World reboot. Okay. Oddly, none of the trades, um, the Hollywood Reporter and Variety even mention Blade in their reporting. The Hollywood, the Hollywood Reporter first reported about the Jurassic World reboot and says Marshala Ali is in talks to join Scarlett Johansson in the flick, okay? To be perfectly honest with you, I'm kind of sick and tired. I, well, I'm not kind of, I, I'm sick and tired of all these Jurassic World movies. I haven't watched one in years, but there you go, do. If the talks go through, Ali will join the cast, which, which includes a bunch of other people. And filming is said to be taking place mid-June in London. So if the, if the filming is going to be taking place mid-June in London, and we're hearing that Blade that was supposed to start filming in July has been pushed back now, the fall, it's possible that he may not have the time to film it. So that's why it's speculated that you know he's most likely leaving this, which I think is a good thing. I think I think that the best thing that, that Mahershala Ali can do is walk away from this terrible, terrible concept of a movie. Just walk away and be done with it. Previous reports stated Marvel was supposed to film Blade in the summer or fall, so that's out the door, assuming Mahershala Ali is sticking with Marvel, yeah? So you see, more delays. The Hollywood Reporter also adds uh, the Jurassic World reboot landing where Shala Ali is huge for the film as the actor tends to avoid Hollywood blockbusters and has cultivated a reputation of being selective. Well, Blade is supposed to be a big Hollywood blockbuster, but we see the trains are now silent about it. And not going to be a Hollywood blockbuster, it's going to be another Hollywood box office flop. Various reports have offered that amid the turmoil within Marvel, Blade has suffered greatly including the flick going through multiple directors and as many as seven writers. Yeah, why not? Why not? Also, I'm um, talking about how um, is Blade is going to be a second-rate character in his own movie, which instead would focus on female characters. One person familiar with the script promulgious um, generation said, the story at one point morphed into a narrative led by women and filled with life lessons. Blade was relegated to the fourth lead, a bizarre idea considering that the studio had two-time Oscar winner Ali on board. Yeah, look, tell you something. Eh? As I've stated before and I'm going to say again, I see no reason for him to, to continue this. I think this. I think this entire production is just dead. I have been reporting time and time again on the amount of crap involved in this in this movie. Five years and they can't make the movie yet. Every script that they come out with is worse than the worse than the other one. It's been reported for quite a while now that he has been very unhappy. Very, very unhappy with everything that Marvel has been doing in regards to this blade movie. Like I say it's not difficult to do a blade movie. But it is difficult when you're a bunch of idiots who don't care about anything that you're doing and figure, you know what? These people are all going to be too damn stupid to care. Or they will have to watch it because if they don't, if they don't we're going to go out there and attack them and scream racism. And that will make sure they have to watch it. Well, yeah, I think you should leave. I think this whole damn thing needs to be cancelled. And I think everybody involved in it needs to walk away, wash their hands of it and never come back. Let me know your thoughts on this in the comments. I have a different opinion. I'd love to hear it. If you like, if you're ready to hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Ring the notification bell. Be notified every time I put a new video. And I shall see you all next time. Take care.